Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. We are here because of the concept nature. We don't know what it is, but we know we are part of it. When people go out into nature, something happens. It's the fight, flight, freeze response. This is how we are engineered, created, constructed, made, how we evolved to interact with nature. And once we are in nature, then we say, what can I eat? What can I take? What shelter can it give me? And then nature becomes the mother. Professor Solms of the University of Cape Town wrote a book that says something like, tell me your psychological problems and I will tell you how you see nature. Or can also mean, tell me how you see nature and I will tell you what problems you can expect to have. We are intrinsically part of nature, although we boast ourselves to be human, to have a mind, to be free. For seven months we have been plagued by a drought and everything we did was to try to eliminate the disastrous effect of this drought. Why? Because of survival. What did we do? We planted fruit trees. We did that so that we can have something to eat. We made swales so that the water can be absorbed to be able to, so that the fruit trees can be able to grow better. It's all for survival. For the past two days, I have been chopping wood, dry home oak, Man, is that a hard task. I never knew that uh, it takes so much energy. But at least I did make a big dent in the firewood logs. I still have to learn to stack the firewood, but I'm happy. We even made a garden. Here are our pumpkins. Things that people do to survive, to get food. We even got some dogs for our own protection and to help us to control the wild boars, khabali, and also the deer from destroying our plants. We put in a huge effort to change the landscape, to control the water, so that we can feed 
our need to interact with nature, to have more calm and peace and security. Caravan of just fr freshly chopped tree trunk all for security to be warm in winter to cook our food if we have to the seasons in Andalusia is they are quite special like two seasons for dying it is the very cold in winter and the very hot in summer nothing grows and then in between there are two windows to grow things and uh, I still have to wrap my head around what it really means because suddenly after our first rain things start growing so is this our second spring the first rain this calendar here after seven months of drought came three days ago and already there are some green sprouts in the soil this is one of the flat areas we have and I'm thinking of putting some wheat, rye, alfalfa things like that in here This is three days after the rain and the moss is already fluffing up and some plants are growing on the rocks facing the northern direction. All the coffee bushes, they have died, disappeared. Papaya is still growing strong. the guava getting new growth apricot died poplar is growing and then chestnut another chestnut Another dead apricot? No, perhaps it's coming back. Let's see. This is what the soil looks like. And suddenly a lot of green stuff. And a dog. People employ various methods of dealing with their interaction with nature. One of them is through art. Till next time. Goodbye.